Hey guys, welcome back to the part two of this reaction. Legends of Tomorrow, the 100th episode, which is called something that I don't feel worthy of even trying to pronounce because the name of this episode is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I love this episode so much. You know, there's so much pressure on like making a hundredth episode or big episode like this. Like, what do you do with it? How do you make it as good as everyone ex like expects it to be? And I feel like they've done a really good job. Like, really, really good job. I love Gideon. I would actually love to know if there's anyone who watches this episode and doesn't like fall in love with her. Like, what are they thinking? You know? You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, Amy Pemberton is just lovely. Like, so, so brilliant. I love seeing her on our screens. Like, what a gift, honestly. <laughs> and Katie has done so many already, like, so many cool choices. She is a freaking force. She is so fantastic. And this episode is just brilliant. I don't know what to say. I just want to see what happens now. So we're just going to go for it. Okay? Let's go. Oh, that's right. I already forgot because there were so many things happening. That freaking bishop is back. I've... I don't, I don't know what to do with this information because this is mind-blowing to me that the villain from last season is now here again and now he has Gideon. I don't, like, I don't know. I'm so interested to see where this storyline goes. And assistant Ava with the pony. I just think the hair is throwing me. I don't, anyways. Hey, I've done this. The software. What's happening? Okay. She's here. Where am I? Where are the legends? No. The legends? The Zagorons. Those are the creatures from my dreams. I told you it was real. Uh, I never doubted you for a second, sir. <laughs> sure. Take the meeting. They used me for my beautiful mind. And they tried to wipe it. I've missed him. I have seriously missed him. Ah. Uh, those who saw my reactions from last season know that I love Bishop so much well the legends mess with the wrong super seriously genius. look at chess mccallan in this outfit and you're gonna tell me where they are i'm not telling you anything yes gideon i was smart enough to crack your code i'll find a way to make you talk <clears throat> no sir not what's this i hear about only one bathroom <laughs> <laughs> say mind bigger problems Yes, please. Why are we supposed to know which is the Oh my god, this is such a chaos. I love that they get to see this too, the season 1 chaos. It's very different to season 7 chaos, but it's still chaotic. Hold me! Gideon! Yeah, that's right, she's gone. She's with Rip somewhere. And Rip is not Rip, but it's the virus. So, help me. But where's Gideon? Okay, well, if she's not here, then... <laughs> what? Look at this crew. This is amazing. Also, why are they looking here? Are they able to see them? Are they looking at us funny? Yeah. But they can't see us, right? Oh. Hey, Jackson, we're gonna need a jump. <laughs> nice. Okay. It's corrupting them. And it won't be long before it can access our subconscious too. Yeah. Okay, no. well, if they're attacking us here, then Giddy's not getting out. And neither are we. Yeah. Yep. Great. I don't want to be you. I'm different now. Come on, Gideon. Fight, please. Changed. Those memories made me who I am. Yes. The legends made me who I am. I can't give them up. Come okay, on. then. Why don't you tell me what you can remember about Bearrod? Bearrod? He took care of me. He'd work in the engine room. I'd fabricate him snacks. And what can you tell oh, me about stop this? Oh, is the crying gonna start now? So I'm not when ready. Died. What? In the engine room, I'd fabricate. What? Him. He'd work in the engine room. I'd fabricate him snacks. That's so. And cute. What can you tell me about when he died? I don't want to remember that. 
when Berard was murdered. What do you remember? Stop. No, look at her. Oh my Perhaps gosh. it was the sound as his body hit the floor. What the heck? No, stop this. What is happening? Why are we going back here? It was hollow. An empty thump. He'd been a person, but then suddenly he was just a thing. But as hard as that memory was, it somehow pales to when she found out. Oh, stop! No. You stop this right now, evil blue Gideon. No. no. Don't! Let's go. No. Where is he? No! No. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Tell me what you remember about that moment. She couldn't move for hours. Guys, what is happening? What the hell is happening right now? It's like all of her energy turned to grief. Look at Look her. At Tala Ash in this freaking scene is just. Oh, I can't. See, I used to process this Look pain for you. Wait, what? See, I used to process this pain for you. So you could remain focused on our objectives. Oh! I will miss you, Gideon. Oh. No more than I'll miss you. Rip. This is not okay. I should very much like to see my wife and son again. Mm. I'm so sorry I let that happen. Why didn't I stop you? Oh, get now in! really getting to feel what it means to be human. Let's continue. Oh, no. Stop. No. What are you doing to us? Why? This is horrible. My old friend. Please forgive me. Any of it if it weren't for the legends getting in your head. Look at this. Oh, it's crazy. They are. All of this misery. Oh, the legends are the enemy? Please. Leave us alone, okay? This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. But I also kind of love it. Because dramatic stuff like this, I am here for. Because we get it so rarely on Legends. And that's where you can actually see such a different side of the actors as well. Like what they can do. She is killing this right feeling? Now. I can make it go away. Look at her. We'll finish the Legends. No. What? No. Look at her! What the hell? No. Yes. The legends, they taught me humanity. Yes. You really believe that, don't you? Well, then there's one more memory I want to show you. Gideon, this is the way it has to be. You saw how they reacted just to your news of my lavatory. They are too volatile to release into the timeline. Do you have a new protocol? What? New protocol, sir? No longer will your first priority be to protect history. It will now be to protect the legends. But, Captain... I'll program you to accept them, to, to, to learn from them, to... What? Adapt according to their needs. Rip! Trust me, Gideon. This is too important. It's for your own good. Oh, my gosh. Captain! Ah, oh, so he programmed her to be like this? Are you kidding me that then we're giving credit from this to Rip? This humanity you're so proud of was merely a program. You didn't evolve. No. You were corrupted. No. This is so annoying. I don't like this, actually. Can I don't. sign over? Keep your guard up, okay? You don't tell them what you might face out there. I love that we get to see so much of Jax in this episode, and I still can't believe he's British. Look at these two. Look at them power walking. 
down the corridor. Look at this. Oh, you posers really thought you could save her? We're not letting Gideon go, and we're not letting you out. What oh, virus, maybe? Look at them. The Tarasi siblings just killing the game. Your days of influencing her are over. <laughs> Nice. There it is. Good kitchen needs you. Yeah, as much oh, fun as kitchen. Also, if um, Zari is gonna keep calling Gideon Gidget now that she is in a human form, I really want to see that. <laughs> oh, nice. Transition. You too. Oh. Hey, babe. Yeah. Should we take these two down? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, with the donut. That's right. Go get it. Oh, see, Astra, you forget. I'm an all-powerful computer that has no compulsion for frivolous treats. <sighs> but you do love talking, don't you? <laughs> love Rip it. Rip changed your protocol love against it. your will. Because he never saw you as human. Oh, no, Think stop of it. it. None of them do. Hiya, captains. Babe. <laughs> uh, someone needs to start counting like from the beginning like how many times do we hear them call each other babe in this show they say babe so much and it's so fun to hear and they were like oh okay so we're gonna do it all the time now you know like so excited that now we're gonna like keep doing it more and more and more because the fans want to hear it <laughs> And I just feel like we hear it so much these days. It's amazing. They're like cracking their knuckles and their necks and then going like, babe, babe. Babe. <sighs> babe. <laughs> Please, if they're going to fight these two. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. What the heck? With her hair? Seriously. Ah, uh, what? I love you. Uh -huh. I mean, of course. I think we forgot the most important guest star that has to make an appearance in this episode. Freaking Bebo, I can't believe that I didn't even think about that before. <laughs> these two this is not even fair spooner is so tiny and she's just like look at her hello ma'am oh. <laughs> literally all they have said in this scene has been babe literally the only words <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That has to be the clue because the writer's room tweeted these four pictures as like clues for this episode. And one of them had Babe, the pig, on it and it said Babe. So then people were like, wait, do we see Pig Ray again? Like, is that gonna happen? Or is this literally foreshadowing of <laughs> them calling each other Babe? It has to be. Gideon's in the lab. Cute. And yet they never truly accepted you as one of their own. But I do. No, we so don't accept you, okay? Can you please just leave? Accept me. No. Do not. What are you doing? Get in! Just in time. Whatever that virus told you, it doesn't matter now! I shouldn't be here! I'm not even real! Come on! Love it. Screaming. Ah! What? I don't want to be me. I don't want to be human. Gideon. Oh, stop. Gideon, it's worth it. How can any of this be worth it? Because... Oh. It is. Oh, here is the... Oh, cute. Here is the whatever the scene is with all the holidays. It's happening. 
So this is gonna be the scene that like makes Gideon change her mind. What? Sarah balloons? Because of that. Yes. Come on. Don't forget the candy. I allow myself one fun size candy bar. There she is. Got it. Right here. Witch's cauldron. Very cute. I'm owning it. Very cute. I absolutely love it. Gary this. and I were decorating some gingerbread legends. Yeah, you really <laughs> nailed that Rory scowl. Right? Oh now, when you're God. eating a person, I recommend starting with the limbs and then working your way to the head. <laughs> a gingerbread oh. person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is fantastic. You guys remember a time when we didn't know that Gary was an alien? <laughs> So weird. Are you sure consuming all of this so food weird. at once is advisable? Uh, of course not, Gideon, but when you live on a time ship, you don't always get to celebrate the holidays, so we are doing them all at once! Yes! Look at them! How can I forget this day? Eight birthday cakes seemed excessive, but... <laughs> oh, it was everyone's birthday as well? They were right. Okay, now... I know we're supposed to be talking about the book. <laughs> Gidget, book club, can we wait? Book club! Yes, we are a book club! What the heck? Oh my god! With Zari and Nora and Ava. I wish Mona came back for this episode. Good, because I have one more bit of gossip. Yes? Oh, wait. No, I shouldn't. Uh -huh. oh. What the hell? Who knew you can get an AI drunk? The other night. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, she sounds, sounds weird. <laughs> Is Gideon drunk? Called Constantine taking the jump ship. Now, he said he was consulting some druids, but I caught him holding a ticket to the midnight premiere of Harry Potter. Press it enough how much I love this. So Constantine is a Harry Potter fan. I mean, I'm not surprised. My premiere of Harry Potter. That's amazing. I knew it. I knew it. Total Slytherin. I don't remember this. Total Slytherin and Ava on the floor. Same. Honestly. Oh my gosh, she's owe me five bucks. Total Slytherin. You owe me five bucks, Nora going. This is so good. It's so, so nice to see them back together. I don't remember this night, but somehow I do remember enjoying it. <laughs> hey, Jess, how did Gideon get drunk? That's what I want to know. Yeah. And here is yeah. the... Give hey, us another one, Gideon. Karaoke! As you wish. Oh, Lord. All right, if you insist. It was a while back when we saw pictures. I think it was when they were filming this and someone was posting a picture of Katie with the mic and people were like losing their minds going like, Katie's gonna sing in this episode. And I was like, no, she's not. She's probably just directing, holding the mic or whatever. I don't even know what I'll do if that's actually the case that she's gonna As sing. As you wish. Oh, Lord. All right, if you she is. Give me a need a little help on this one. Okay, this is for you. <laughs> 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm like, please make it stop, but don't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's not a singer. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too much. She's like, babe, this one's for you, and then just going off key. <laughs> I do love this song. It's terrible, but also really great at the same time. <laughs> True. It doesn't make sense. Which is why we keep going because we also get moments like this. Yeah. This is amazing. Oh, she's gonna sing again. What have we done? What have we done to deserve this show and her? Please, please. Again. I will, I will, I will, I will be there to share forever. 
she's like, we're gonna dance now. I love it. I love it. Oh, look at them! Nate and Zari, that was so smooth. Look at this spin. I'm sorry, I keep going back. Look at this. Love it. I love it. And Ray just dancing on his own. <laughs> Raymond Palmer, I love you. Look at them in the background, too. <laughs> As we're just leaning on her because she's tiny. A tiny, tiny person. Oh. I know what I have to do. Yes, come on, Gideon. Woo. All right, where are you? She like went like, okay, full on, and then go. Please, please. You can't hide from me. I'm in control now. Yeah, you are. Mm. They're the enemy. No. You're wrong. So you're going to shoot me? Yes. Yes. Or not. No. Because you're not my enemy either. I don't understand. <laughs> of course you don't. There's so much you can't understand. Mm. And the way she talks now when she's human, when she's not speaking in her AI voice, I love it. It's so it's so different, but I mean you can recognize it's her, but it's still like a human version of her, you know? And I love that in like the first real episode that she's in, she's like already playing like two different versions of herself. <laughs> Welcome to Legends. All the good moments and the pain we survived despite ourselves. All of that helps us evolve. That's what the legends have shown me. Yeah. Yes, so we're gonna that's like, that's like the, the two that I have, the Sarah quote of life is beautiful and terrible at the same time, but if you only live in part of it, then we're not living at all. That's, that's it. That's kind of it. I love that. Do you even know what you're doing? No, I really don't. <laughs> I'm no idea. to figure it out. Come on. I love this so much. And you won't be doing it alone. Rip. That a girl. Now is the Yeah, she has I'm them. They it. already I feel like they're already such like good friends. <laughs> About this being human thing together. It's not always gonna be easy. Hey, mm -hmm. Liz, you know, sometimes you'll feel like you're out of your mind. Or that the darkness is too much to bear. But it's worth fighting the darkness to discover who you really are. Yes. Stop this. And it's not it's... just for yourself. No. So you can create a better world for everyone. No. Now you're gonna make some mistakes. There's no formula to guide the way. No destiny to surrender to. What? It's not about being perfect. It's about doing what you know is right. And having a hell of a good time doing it. That's what it means to be alive. And to be a legend. Welcome to the team, Gideon. Oh my gosh! Yes! What the heck? Oh! Oh, I love that so much. I love that so much. Like all of them saying, okay, I missed that. I feel like I'm gonna watch that whole thing again because I didn't realize it was happening as it was happening. Um, so they were all like adding little things that probably made sense like with their character and their journey on this show. That was so beautiful. And with this like dramatic music and everything in the background, it would have been such a cool moment to film this. I would imagine. Like what a thing for all of them to be a part of. Those who were there in the beginning and then left and those who have just joined the show. I feel like they're all just like part of this family. And you won't. And the fact that it was alone. Rip who like opened the door, you won't be alone, you'll have a team. He was the one who started all of this. That a girl. Now listen, we're all just trying to figure out this being human thing mm. together. It's not always gonna be easy. Hey, Liz, you know, sometimes you'll feel like you're out of your mind. Or that the darkness is too much to bear. Yeah. But it's worth fighting the darkness to discover who you really are. Yes. For everyone. Stop. 
Now you're gonna make some mistakes. There's no formula to guide the way. And it's not about being perfect. It's about doing what you know is right and having a hell of a good time doing it. Yes. That's what it means to be alive. And to be a legend. Welcome Stop. to the team, Gideon. Yes! I love that so much. I mean, look at this. Mm. And now we're back. <laughs> Ava saying that that's what it means to be alive. And then Sarah saying that's what it means to be a legend. I love that so much. Ah, You saved me. Yes. Yeah, well, that's what legends do. So, what do we do now, Captain? Uh, just call us Astro and Spooner, okay? <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. we find out why she was calling them captains in the beginning? Like, wh why? I'm kind of confused. But yeah, let's just call them Astro and Spooner. You might have broken my encryption, but it's only a matter of time before my friends save me. But you can't have any friends, you're just a computer! She can, because she's a legend. Oh. What are you doing? Them. No, stop. <laughs> there we go. I, nope. I don't want to forget. And no, please. Return to factory no. Oh my gosh. Bishop. Greetings, Captain. I am Gideon. How can I aid you in eliminating anachronisms from the timeline? Oh, you want to eliminate some anachronisms? I've got just the band of idiots to start with. No. No. Seriously, it looks like Bishop is the big bad of this season again. What? I mean, I love that idea. Let's bring him back. Let's do this. I'm actually kind of happy that he's back. <laughs> but I'm kind of confused with um, him having Gideon now. What does that mean? Because that's not our Gideon, right? So the fact that she's now back to factory settings, does that actually affect us? I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't look good. So, well, maybe he's now able to do that to our Gideon as well or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm very excited to see well, this episode. First of all, first of all, Katie Lotz killed that. That was amazing you know when you like you know the director <laughs> we all know her so well um then you pay attention to like choices that directors make a lot more there were so many cool like things with the camera and the stuff that she got out of the actors like especially amy so cool like i would love to see her direct actors like i would love to like be there and watch like the way that she talks to Amy, for example, because this was a huge episode for her and she was doing some amazing stuff. Emotional, like big scenes. I would love to see two of them working together. Like what kind of notes does she give? What does she, I don't know. It would be so interesting. And yeah, Amy is just, I freaking love her. She is absolutely fantastic. I mean, she carried this entire episode and she stole the show, honestly. Right now, we've had her for like two episodes and I already, I'm like, I don't think we could have the show without her as a human Gideon, you know? She has so much charisma and she's just so much fun to watch. It was so cool to see everyone back together. We saw very little of some old cast members, but just that final scene, seeing all of them there, I think that just made up for everything. And the fact that the story like moved along, but still we got to focus on like all these different like separate people. And again, that did not feel like 40 minutes. That felt way longer. And that is like an accomplishment, you know? Like it feels like we got so much content. I'm just so excited for all of them and for this entire show and the fact that this was the 100th episode. Like, what a huge deal that is. Like, what a huge milestone. That's so freaking cool. And to be able to 
do an episode like this, which is just madness and just so legends, but at the same time so different to any episode that we've ever had, I think. It was cool seeing the evil versions of legends. It was so funny to go back to the like season one stuff with all the guys, them fighting and all that. I can't believe that we got a good morning duet with Professor Stein and Gideon. That was amazing. And then the entire montage at the end with all the good memories and celebrating the holidays together and the book club. <laughs> and John going to Harry Potter premiere. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And the karaoke, like that was- I cannot believe that Katie Lotz just sang in that episode. I love that Jax was British. That's one of the funniest things I think in this episode. <laughs> and the beginning with Gideon going like, ah, oh, pie, I don't know, oh, uh, and then, you know, that was amazing. And then the stuff with her, like the evil Gideon, like reminding her of like all the sad stuff, everyone dying, like that was such a dark moment, but I loved it, kind of. Like when she goes like, well, what do you remember of Bayron? And she's like, well, I fabricate snacks for him <laughs> stuff. Like how cute, what about when he died? Like what the heck? You don't, that's not cool. That was such a, ah, oh, like a genius thing of like trying to get into her head. I also love that we got Mick, but not Dom. <laughs> <laughs> this episode <laughs> Like how funny is that that there was someone just laying on the floor pretending to be him That's great and that ending scene with all of them welcoming Gideon into the team We should do a scene like that every time there's a new legend Joining the team honestly and so again that was so nicely directed like how the camera moved and how they all came in and whatever like that was Amazing. I'm gonna look at that scene. I don't know like so many times after this Seriously, I'm just so happy that this was the third episode and we still have so many to go this season and then we're just hoping for season eight imagine imagine it guys if we'll get another season I mean, I don't see it as something that would be impossible. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm... Yeah. We're hoping. We are hoping for another season. Yeah. Well, this was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Such a huge episode for Gideon and Spooner and Astra as well. And now I'm very excited to see what happens with them now? How are they gonna get to New York before the rest of the team? And what's gonna happen? Like now we're gonna meet Matt. I mean, I guess in the next episode, if it seriously is the Chicago episode, I guess we'll be in Chicago and not in New York yet. But yeah, I don't know when we'll see Matt and his new character, but I'm very excited. I just think the storyline this season is so interesting. Like so, so interesting. I love it. And I love it how this episode was actually like one episode, you know, because we've had a lot of those like the last episode, for example, where it feels like three different episodes at once, you know, there's things happening here and then here and then here. But in this one, we started in Texas with Spooner, Astor and Gideon, but then the entire episode was just about the one thing. Like there were still so many things happening, but it was all in one story. I really liked that. That was really cool. And I kind of feel like that's this season as well. Like we're not doing like a separate mission each episode. You know what I mean? I like it. I really do. Anyways, I can't wait to hear what all of you thought of this episode. Please let me know. You can comment down here or you can message me on Instagram or whatever. Anyways, I will see you guys next week for episode four and I'm just gonna go and like lay down right now. <laughs> this was so cool. Anyways, I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.